Welcome back everyone and welcome to today's class. Today we are going to talk a little bit about an advanced feature of C called function pointers. So a function pointer is just like a regular pointer in C. It's a variable that points to some other part of the memory. But the function pointer as one can hear by its name, is pointing to another function. And then you can call that variable and it will call the function that it's pointing to. Let's see if we can make this work. I will create a new file called fp, function pointer. And we will include the standard input output. And we will have four different mathematical operations. We will have addition, subtraction, division, and multiplication. And these three functions would be very similar. And I'm going to do it like this. So I will do void x. This would be the name of the function. But because these functions are very similar, I will make like a, uh, what's it's called? A tr I don't remember the word currently, but it's when you have something that you have at the beginning and then you copy that up and then you change parts of it. Okay, so we will have three different uh, arguments. The first argument will be the target, that is the variable that, we'll, that we want to change that we want to put the, uh, the result of the mathematical operation. Then we will have an A value and a B value, like the two values that we want to add together or subtract. And this time I'll do the whole function in one line because it's very it's, it's very similar and it, quite it, easy to understand. So I don't have to break it up in different variables and so on as I've done before. Plus, this is the advanced part of the class. So you should know about that. All right, so I will return. And let's say this is the add. No, I will not return it, by the way. I will do target equals and then a plus b, for example. Return. Okay. So this is the this is the main this is the base function and I will just copy the, this up four times and I will call this addition, I will call this subtraction and change the plus to minus, I will call this division and change it to a division sign and finally I'll call this one multiplication and add the star sign. Okay, so now we have four different mathematical functions. Now I will create our main function. And we will have two int values. We will have an x and a y. And we will have our function pointer. So our function pointer will be a void
and we can call it FP for function pointer. And I think this is the syntax. Maybe we need to alter that a little bit. It was a while ago I did this, but we'll figure it out eventually. We'll learn together. And then we will read from the keyboard. Let's, let's create an operation variable and we'll do it like this. We'll ask the user, press one for addition, two for subtraction, three for uh, division, four for multiplication, and zero to quit. Something like this. And then we will read the answer into the operation variable. And we will do it like this. Number one. And we'll do an F. I will create a definition for this F. And it's a flush standard out. So every time I just put an F there, I will flush the buffer. And then we'll read the first number into X. And I will copy these two. Oops. I will copy these two lines and paste them. And number two will be read to the Y variable. like this. Okay, now I will do a switch for the operation. So, for case one, that is addition. It's always good when you do a, a number-based menu like this, that you add an a comment directly after the case. Either that or you do something like this. Define addition one, define subtraction two, define division three, and define multiplication four. Then you can just do case addition. It makes the code a little bit easier to understand. Okay, so if we choose addition, we will point our function pointer towards addition. And we'll break. We'll copy this and we'll do the same for the for the other ones and we have subtraction and we'll point this to subtraction. We have Division will point to our division function. And finally, we do have the multiplication. And we'll change our function pointer accordingly.
and at the end we'll put a default statement which will simply return zero okay I will save this so far so we don't lose it okay so now we want to execute now we want to execute our FP because the FP is currently pointing towards the function that we want to call so now we'll execute our FP and we'll do that by something like this I believe so basically the star means that we shouldn't access this variable but we should access the stuff that these, this variable is pointing to and that is the different functions and then we'll execute that function and we will give this a couple of arguments let's see okay so target a b and we have we need a variable for the result so the address of result is our target and the two values are called x and y and the, the, those will just submit as is the actual values so if we have made this correctly it should call like the division function it should execute the mathematical operation and it should store the result in our result variable so now we'll just print it out like this and we'll quit so in order to recap we have four different functions addition subtraction division multiplication all these functions have three arguments target a and b and they do the mathematical operations and store the uh, results in whatever targets pointing towards i.e. the variable address that we send to the function <coughs> inside of main we read we present a menu for the different mathematical operations we read two numbers from the user x and y we switch according to the mathematical operations and we use our de definitions our constants in order to switch and the only thing we do in each of these is we point the function pointer this one towards our different functions then we execute whatever the function pointer is pointing towards we send the address of the result variable and we send our two numbers and then we'll just print out the results hopefully this works but it might require some tweaking so let's try to compile fp okay I think it's because we didn't specify the arguments to it let's see 
So, like this, and then int 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 star. Did I do the correct? No, the int star should be in the beginning. So let's try this out. Now we got a little bit closer. One single error left. Void value not ignored as it ought to be. Interesting. Probably we're, it's just the parentheses or something like that, which is wrong. Void value not ignored as it should be. Perhaps it should be like this. Maybe just like this. There we go. Now it compiled. Let's see if it works. So press one for addition, five plus 15 is 20. And 15 minus six, nine. Nine divided by three is three. Four. So let's do eight times eight is 64 and we quit by zero no not zero ah it does this anyway okay zero we could fix that but it's not not a huge deal but it looks a little bit better though so we'll just take these four lines and move them after our switch statements. So if we press zero, it exits immediately and it still works for the other ones. Okay, so what have we learned today? We have learned how to create a function pointer by taking the name of it with a star in front, parentheses around that, and then another set of parentheses containing all the arguments. We point it like any other variable, but we point it towards the name of our functions. And when we call it, we put the name inside parentheses, and then another set of parentheses and our arguments. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and thanks for today.